This radio right here is the Radioddity DB40D. It is a analog and DMR digital, VHF and UHF dual band, 20 or 40 watts, dual VFO with Bluetooth, GPS, APRS, and cross band repeater and same band repeater. Just a lot of cool functions. Now, this radio came out months ago and uh, I'm a little late to the party, but I've been using it and playing around with it as a mobile for a little bit and as a base. There's a couple things people don't like about it. There's a couple things that could be improved to make it better. There's a couple things I like about it. And, you know, it's quite packed with so much, so many features in this thing that, you know, a little bit of a learning curve, but I think it's a really rad radio. Now, you might know the DB25, which is the smaller version of this, which uh, has a little bit of a smaller screen, it has less power, and uh, less contacts available to store on the DMR side. So let's check out the DB40D and, and go through it. And then after that, uh, maybe, you know, some of the comments you guys have, maybe you can leave a comment. We could do little videos, a couple little videos after to touch on a certain, you know, uh, um, a feature of this, you know. Maybe you want to see about the APRS. Maybe you want to see what the GPS is like. Uh, maybe you want to see what can you do with this uh, on DMR or, D, uh, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll check it out. Just let me know in the comments below if there's something that you want to see more of uh, and we'll touch on those but i think this is a pretty neat radio let's check it out okay so the first thing is this is an all-in-one unit one of the things that a lot of people said that they wish i wish that this had a detachable front panel okay as you see it here it has to be mounted in the vehicle or on your desk like this some people like i you know depends on your your situation in the vehicle my vehicle i got a new nissan for work and uh, not a lot of room to mount radios now. If I had a detachable face, this can go somewhere next to my steering wheel. And, but it, you know, not a game changer, not a really deal breaker for some people, maybe for some it is. Now, uh, as I said, dual VFO, so you have independent volume controls on each one of the, uh, and squelch on each, you know, VFO A and VFO B, you can call it, All right? Uh, many programmable buttons on the front between long press and short press and on the mic I'll show you you can you know customize a lot of shortcuts for this radio <clears throat> top fire and speaker always good to have now on the back all right of course you got the power cable on here you have two I'll show you these two little antenna SMA connectors one is for GPS one is for Bluetooth you could also have your um, uh, you know audio out here if you want to use that for whatever reason, you got a 3.5 millimeter out, your SO239, your fan here, okay? Now, before I turn it on, I'm gonna show you a few things that this comes with, because, by the way, the RJ45 mic goes over here. It does come with quite a bit of stuff, so I wanna show you, all right? Um, it gives you a, a well-detailed manual here to show you all kinds of stuff. Again, this has a little bit of a learning curve because they put so many different features in this radio. Um, there's, there's a lot of things you can do, and, and to be honest with you, uh, until I had this again, I haven't really done much on DMR. I have DMR, D-Star, and Fusion. I live on D-Star. I really don't even use Fusion that much. Maybe you're a DMR person. Okay, so the, the, the manual, I, I advise you to read this manual before you really, um, you know, get into this. And it does give you um, some printouts. Maybe some people, I think, in the past had issues connecting the included Bluetooth earpiece to this for Bluetooth operation. So it kind of gives you pictures on how to do this, okay, in, uh, in, in a couple different languages as well, right? <clears throat> now, uh, some of the things this comes with in this box down here, right? And I don't do unboxings, but I'm just going to show you. I've been playing with the power cord here, okay? So let's not pay attention to what, that doesn't come with it. It comes with the, you know, uh, cigarette lighter to this. And for what I was doing temporary on the desk and then before I put it in the vehicle and for this video was just taping on the wires on the here with my bio and a battery, okay? Um, here's the included Bluetooth earpiece. No name on it, it's not like a Plantronics or nothing, um, Jabra, whatever, but it's USB rechargeable and it seems that, you know, for over the road truckers, you get your volume on here. It's got multiple uh, replaceable ear donuts here in case you get wax on there or you wanna, you know, let a friend use it and change it, you know, but that, goes over your ear and uh, away you go. I don't I don't really use Bluetooth too much on radios like this. If I'm driving, I usually got the mic in my hand, but some people have vehicles with cameras or, you know, drive systems, which mine does for work. Um, and they don't, you know, they frown on you using a microphone and taking your hands off the wheel. So if that is you or like it is me, I may put this on here, leave it on a Bluetooth. And even if I'm outside of the truck, I could, 
you know, uh, basically, you know, put it on Vox, use this, and talk hands-free on the radio, all right? <clears throat> mounting bracket, always good to have an included mounting bracket. And, of course, um, here is a Bluetooth uh, lapel-looking button. So, you know, holding, you know, clipping this on your shirt or on the steering wheel or an air vent or whatever, maybe that's your Bluetooth button for the Bluetooth, you know, for transmit, okay? Always good to have a... Um, mobile bracket because some companies make you buy it extra now it comes with two little antennas this one is for your bluetooth this one is for your gps and they screw on to the back all right uh right yeah the gps antenna is this one here and the bluetooth antenna is the straight one so you can uh, imagine you get a pretty good gps reception and a pretty good bluetooth range with having external antennas instead of it built into the radio so that's a good thing um you may say well that's going to be cumbersome on the back of the radio i don't I don't think that's going to be a problem for me. Angle it down if it's mounted under your dash or whatever. Of course, like I said, your pieces for your Bluetooth um, earpiece here with your rubber donuts there. Mounting screws for the bracket. <clears throat> okay, and then in here, here is your microphone. And some people, oh, your programming cable right here. So you can use that to program it with the CPS software, which I'll get into in a whole separate video because some people said they didn't like the CPS software. I've never used it yet, kind of did everything on the fly, so we will check that out. Um, this microphone looks as a clone of an Icon mic I used to have, sort of. And it's a lot less, uh, you know, a lot uh, less solid, I guess, sturdy. It works. You got the click. It's not the soft style. It's actual monetary or click button, you know, with the RJ45. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can use, um, if you figure out, maybe a different kind of RJ45 microphone. But this one seems, you know, it's got all the DTMF keys here with the letters in here for messaging, for naming channels, alphanumeric, as well as programmable buttons here. So as I said, there's 10 programmable buttons between this and the front of the radio that you can program with short press, long press, or double press, or whatever. Get about 30 different shortcuts between a mic and here without having to go through the menu. So I tried to make it as... Uh, you know, um, shortcut capable as possible. Let's call it that way. All right. 2.4 inches um, in size, specifically upgraded from I think the 1.7 inches on the DB25. A little little guy. Um, so as I said, individual VFOs here. Okay, uh, VFO A, VFO B. Individual volume on these, and each one of them, uh, one, two, three buttons has a push in. So like, if you want to change to uh, VFO B you know, or VFOA, you would do it that way. And also, if you wanted to go into the menu and go through and select, uh, push the button, you know, there, and then you can hit back over here. So <clears throat> let me walk through real quick on the menu and show you a couple things here on how the menu structure is laid out. Uh, sometimes that's, you know, important to people. Sometimes you can, you know, I mean, I do everything on the fly. I, I don't like program a lot of stuff normally. So there's some things you can do in here on the fly and some things you just have to have it programmed for, okay? Let me show you how the menu structure is laid out. All right, so going into the menu here, uh, we got scan, zone and channel, which right away you can change, you know, different, different zones, uh, analog or digital. If you want to go to your hotspot, there you go. Then you can set up on your hotspot what you would want to, you know, if you want to go to uh, TAC310 or... Um, you know, commands for different things, okay? So it's easy enough to do it that way if you have all those programmed in. Local set would be stuff like your keypad lock, your backlight settings, your display mode, which you can set for channel frequency, you know, channel number plus name or channel number plus frequency. I like frequency, and that's APR, so I'll have to turn it off. Uh, I like the frequency to be shown so I know what, you know, instead of just having a, a name sometimes. Uh, or you can just do single band, okay? And uh, Vox settings, your channel switch. I guess I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, AB repeat. Now, see, this is where I haven't done that yet. We might set that up in a different video. Your cross band repeat, your same band repeat. So same band would be like a store and forward. And your cross band would be like if you had VHF on top, UHF on the bottom. You can receive on VHF, retransmit on UHF. That's good for a lot of people that like to cross band at their house with this in their vehicle or in their shack. And then they can use a handheld on the couch and uh, basically, you know, get on a local repeater 
that they can't hit unless they're outside with a handheld, okay? So cross band, come in on VHF, out on UHF, or come in on UHF, out on VHF, okay? <clears throat> um, also, let's see if I can keep this in the, the video here, all right? Um, so that's local set. Then you have parameters. So actually, let me turn this backlight on because of the way I'm standing right now. Let's see. Brightness. That's as high as it goes. Okay. So then, uh, like I said, parameters, you have timeout timer, power settings, so very easy, low or high, and you can set that with a button, one of these, you know, function button one, function button two, uh, or on the microphone. Uh, squelch level, bandwidth, 12 and a half or 25, so it's wide or narrow, all right? Uh, busy channel lockout, signaling, which would be your, your uh, CTCSS and your DCS here. Subaudible tone, that's what that's called. And your CTCSS tail, which I've never been able to change the frequency of the, the tail. I don't, I don't know. All right. Um, so let's go back here to tone set. So again, you have your uh, different profiles if you want key beeps or power on tones or stuff like that. Try to make it customizable for different applications for different people, okay? Appendix A, they call it Appendix A, your GPS, you know? GPS uh, serial data. Now, again, um, can I get this GPS data out of the radio? Haven't got that far yet. Um, so sometimes people want to get the GPS data extracted out of the radio. I'm not sure how you'd be able to do that. Maybe, I, I'm not sure. Well, we'll check into that. FM radio, if you want that on, we will turn it off. Time. So, uh, yeah, format, I guess. Uh, your hand mic or speaker mic, or you can have the speaker, uh, you can have it on the speaker or on the hand mic. All right. Um, APRS settings. Again, DMR APRS, which is traditionally over network, like through a DMR hotspot or repeater. And it's not traditional. You have to have a connection to the like Brandmeister network in order to see yourself on there, which can be useful, but I like traditional APRS on analog like this, okay? And uh, you have your, your text on there and, and stuff, but we're gonna get into that too because there's some questions I have on APRS. I haven't really done much on it. I started enabling stuff. I'm not sure how all the functions work on APRS, so that's why we'll do that because maybe you're not interested in that, and that's fine. And your Bluetooth settings for your earpiece, uh, your, your PTT button, you know, the gain on that and stuff like that, all right? So that's that's how the menu structure is laid out. Now, if there's something in there, like see this key here could be, that's your zone and channel. This one, let's see back. This one is not programmed at all. This one over here, that's your monitor. You take the squelch right off. This one right here is not programmed. Now, if you hold this, that shuts the backlight down. Turn it, hold it again turns it on. Now that is just configured how I was playing with stuff or whatever. Um, you can set these buttons to do whatever. Maybe you're always in a situation where you want to switch from low to high power. You're always in a situation where it, uh, you, you want it to be dark because your eyesight in the car or whatever, you just boop, tap the button or, or you want to change zones quickly instead of going to the menu because you're driving, you know, one, two, three, like this, go through, you know, and enter. There you go. All right. Uh, as well as just scrolling through contacts like this, switch down to VFLB, switch through there. Just depends how you hit set it up. <clears throat> and I gotta tell you, I set up DMR radios and contacts way different than anybody else. It's just the way it's comfortable for me. So uh, when you see it this way, you know, there was some stuff in there I was deleting and, and programming and stuff. So we'll just uh, leave that alone. But so far, what do you think about this radio? Okay, what questions do you have? Now then here's the back here with the Bluetooth antenna and the GPS antenna. If you don't use Bluetooth, you can turn the Bluetooth off, but these are not interchangeable because of different frequencies for Bluetooth versus GPS. But that, you know, you can screw that on with it facing down, okay? And um, so, yeah, that just got turned off over here. So we're gonna unplug this. And just give you a little final here before we wrap this video up. <clears throat> what do you think about this? I, I can assume that everybody wants this radio to have a detachable screen, you know, a detachable faceplate would make it easier. Um, in one of the videos coming up, I'll show you the code plug software, CPS, that may or may not be up your alley. Um, can it be used on Chirp? We'll find out. Can it be used with uh, different programmers? Does RT Systems have something like that? We don't know. 
and check that out. In the meantime, for the price of, uh, I've seen them open box on Radiosity and I've seen them, uh, you know, new, uh, just over $400 is the price of this, all right? <clears throat> it may not be up your alley, but I'm just wondering what you think. Um, if you want my opinion on it, it's so packed with features that, you know, we're coming a long way from having an old radio back in the day when people got started in ham radio and have something now that you can do cross band repeat, same band repeat, um, Bluetooth, GPS, APRS, DMR analog, so much cool stuff you can do with a radio like this. And, um, you know, if, if you have any comments, uh, let's get a couple other videos on. I'll show you about that. Programming, I think, is one. The APRS, I think, is one. And also an audio test to see how it sounds, I think, is one. And uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching part one. I hope uh, this video wasn't too long. I tried to just give you the basics. No sense of me sitting there and putting on a service monitor right now. But uh, if you like the video, click a thumbs up. Just let me know, hey, your video sucks. Or hey, good job, let's talk about this. Thanks.